From Tampa Bay Streaming News Leader, sponsored by The Pink Plumber, this is ABC Action News. I'm Dia Riley. Keep your umbrella handy today. Greg will have your full forecast coming up, but first I want to get to your ABC Action News headlines. The person of interest in the murder of two women in Winter Haven turned himself in. Antonio Davis already had a warrant out for his arrest in an unrelated case. Police say he walked into the Lakeland Police Department yesterday and turned himself in. Winter Haven Police also telling us he's connected to a disturbance, the disturbance call they responded to in August. Police also released the names of the two victims, 23-year-old Chanel Jeanne Brown and 42-year-old Latoya Demetria Owens. Owens lived in the home where they were found. Police are still investigating. They've not yet released a connection between the victims and Davis or the manner in which the women were killed. Today is a big day in the nation's capital where the Supreme Court begins one of its most important terms. The justices are set to hear cases on several controversial topics, including abortion, immigration, the Second Amendment, and LGBTQ rights. The first case asks whether Title VII of the Civil Rights Act, which bars discrimination based on sex, also includes sexual orientation and gender identity. It was not a good Sunday for the Bucks. The Saints marched right through their defense yesterday. New Orleans sliced and diced the Bucks with over 450 yards of offense. Teddy Bridgewater, who's filling in for an injured Drew Brees, threw four touchdown passes. It's just the second time in his career that he's done that. Tampa Bay's defense also didn't sack Bridgewater once. Bucks head coach Bruce Arian says this week will be busy. Their next game is Sunday in London. Go back, watch the film like we always do, and, and go to work Wednesday. Um, jump on a plane, go to London, and uh, Carolina's playing really well right now with Kyle Allen playing quarterback, so um, it'll be a challenge. Sunday's game will be the third time the Bucks are playing in London. The team lost games to the Patriots in 2009 and to the Bears in 2011. Here's Greg now with your forecast. And yeah, we've got some showers moving through today and there'll be fewer uh, areas of sun than where you've seen over the last several days. More clouds, more downpours, rain chances after two o'clock looking pretty high, 60 to 80 percent. It's not going to rain the whole time, but periods of rain will continue to move through. You can always track the storms and get your latest hour by hour forecast by downloading the ABC Action News app. Dia. All right, thank you, Greg. USF kicks off homecoming week tonight at 730 with a public pep rally and comedy show at the Marshall Student Center. The fun continues on Friday with a carnival outside the Yingling Center that's followed by the running of the Bulls Parade. New USF President Steve Corral will serve as Grand Marshal. The Bulls take on BYU in Saturday's homecoming football game. Well, you can now get news all day long on your favorite streaming device. Just download the free ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV. If there's a clog in your sink, or your backed up toilet starts to stink. The Pink Plumber will fix it in a wink. Call 727-222-PINK. We are the plumbers in pink. If your water's leaking, there's no time to think. Google Pink Plumber and click the link. Or call 727-222-PINK.